Hey, how y'all doing today? We're going to call this series another one of What is Harold up to today? What is he doing today? Well, I'm going to start working a little bit more on the old 68 Chevy truck. And I found a new rear end for it because this rear end is geared wrong for the road. It's geared for a farm, for a farm truck because this is a farm truck. So I'm going to take the, the, one of the bearings out and the seal out and replace that. Clean it up and put the rear cover over the pumpkin back on there. And I'm going to take you and show you how to do that. So let's go do that today. So now the first thing I'm going to do is take this nut off and then take the piece off that you connect the drive shaft to. That's on the shaft that goes into the rear end. Okay, so there's so much going on in the shop, noise and stuff. I'm just going to have to narrate over the pictures and show you what's going on. But what I have my hand on there is the rear seal, and I'm going to take that out. And then I'm going to take the bearing out. Now I'm going to take this little hook tool, and I'm just going to take it down and hook it between the little bearings there and pull the old bearing out. Just like that. Okay, now I've taken the parts that I'm going to reuse and take them over to the parts cleaner. I'm just going to brush them up, clean them up real good, and then we'll put them back together with the new bearing and new seal. I'm going to make sure all this stuff's clean first. So I'm going to get on with this. Okay, well that was fun getting all those cleaned up. This is the bearing that I'm going to put in, and that's the seal. So, first things first, I'm going to put the bearing in there. It's supposed to be tight, so don't worry about it if it takes a little bit of finesse to get it in there. And now, I don't want to leave it dry, so I'm going to take uh, some gear lube that I'm going to put in the transfer case and I'm going to pour it around there and get it a little wet so it's not dry. I don't want it running dry at all. So, don't take a whole lot. I'm just going to put some in there and then I'm going to move it around with my finger a little bit to make sure it's where it needs to be. I don't want to put too much in there because I don't want it just running out the other end into the uh, drip pan I got down there. Now I'm going to put the seal on. And the seal's not really that difficult to put on there. You just put it, make sure it's in the right position. And you take your little hammer and you tap it in place. That's all you got to do. Tap it in place. Now I'll put the cover back on and the nut and the washer to receive the drive shaft. And I'm just going to tighten it down real good and tight. It's a, it's a self-locking nut, so you don't have to worry about a carter pin or any of that stuff. It probably wouldn't hurt if you put some Loctite on it if you wanted to. And, uh, and then that's done. That part is done. So now I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. Check it out, clean it up, and put my pan back on. Now I've got this little air grinder here. It's got a Teflon type uh, scrubby on it. You don't want to do it with metal or real abrasive sandpaper or anything. Then I'm going to go over to the uh, cleaner and clean out the pan that goes on the back of it. Perma seal is a rubber adhesive. Uh, makes a gasket, form gasket. It's rubber. It seals real good. It's better than using a gasket. Uh, you want to be, you know, put plenty of it on there. Don't be shy with it and make sure it squeezes out all the way around and seals it up real good. I would recommend doing this rather than using a gasket. Now I'm using an impact gun to tighten the screws down. I forgot the cover on. And I do the crisscross pattern to make sure I get it on there nice and even and uh, just tighten them all down with that and then we're going to come back and tighten it up with a wrench and 
and check and make sure they're all tight. Hey, well, like always, thanks for viewing my video, and if you stay to the end, I appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and watch some of the videos at the end. Don't forget to click on the links above and just check out everything. And hey, I'll have another video for you soon. I'm going to be putting this rear end in the truck soon. So stay tuned. I'm going to clean it up and do some other things, and uh, I have a video about that. So you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.